Hi everyone, welcome. Good evening. This is just a short tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how you can export in Adobe Illustrator. It's based on um on request, based on a request. So let me see how I can just go straight into it. So there are different ways you could do that. You go through the long process or you go to the short cut. So one of the long processes is you go to files and you go to export. Then you go to export for screen. Or if you want, you can see the shortcuts here which I'm still going to show you how you can do the shortcuts. It's just very easy. Alt Control E, which is also for the export as. So I'm going to show you the properties that you can do when you want to export. So now everything exporting Adboard. So let me show you in case. Uh, let me say I have this image out like this and I do not want and I, and I want to export, but I'm worried probably maybe the images and um, the images or the assets can actually go out and make my design look kind of hideous or something like that i, I shouldn't worry about that because illustrator exports in artboard so in this case where if you want to see what will be exported most times you go to view you go to trim view then you could see what is caught here the reason why it's showing here is because it's entering on other artboard so you could see what will be exported on that artboard and nothing else Will be exported alongside the adboard also so you could exit the trim view and for us to export what do we do shortcuts so what do we press the shortcuts the shortcut is ctrl alt e so that's to show you the adboards that are available currently working on that file so now this is the adboard we want to export now if you check it here this is what is inside the adboard that has been um that has been highlighted so you could decide to select this one and the rest of these adboards will not be exported except you want to export all of the adboards then you could come down to uh, come up to this right hand side then click on all all the adboards will be selected and you to be able to export all now in a, in a separate video i'm going to show you how you can export carousels like if you're working on carousels and you want to export them and you want it to be like flow from one adboard to the next one i will show you how you could do that but this is just for the main purpose of just export single adboards in this case so now you could if you want to go export in range so i want only six so i could just press six here and only six will be checked now other settings um here is to choose where you want the exports to go into so now i have i usually create folders for each month so i have for me select for me and we have every other thing right here so you select this folder here yes so under it if you want it to open a new location after export that's open location after export that's when you export it to open the location where it's been exported or you and you also want it to create a sub folder so um, the sub folder actually works based on this either the scale or the format so if you're exporting either um, based on the scale that means you want it to either be um, 1x 2x 3x 4x 0. Point something x 1 1.5x so all the width or the height or the resolution so that one could work based on the scale so if you want to export in format it's based on whether it's png png 8 png uh, gpg 100 gpg 80 gpt 50 and also and so forth even in pdf too so you could choose in what um folder you want it to be exported in so let me show you if you want to export it in scale I've not exported anything in 4x, so you could export in 4x and let's make it JPEG and JPG 100. And we can this is a suffix. If you want it, you want to add probably something at the end. Let me just say testing. Testing, then I say export adboard. Now it will export the adboard into this folder called 4x. Now if you check it, I had something here before. So if you check it here, you could see that the image or your design is being exported into that folder called 4x now this is based on the scale but if i'm working on our format then now to export based on the jpg 100 so if i export here it will export in 4x but will not export in the 4x folder it will export in jpg and if you see this is where it is in jpg so it's either you export in scale or you export in format now these are just other formats either for ios or, or for android this is when you are doing more of illustration and stuff like that there are also more um, presets if you want to save this preset so anytime you can drop on drop on it and there are more settings to the different formats that you have here based on the resolution or based on what you want to export and some of them is in um, based on the color of code or the color model 
So you can in CMY case for prints and RGB, and RGB, which is for screen or grayscale. So all those ones are just extra things. You could play around with them and see which one works best, best for you. You can export for prints, so high quality prints as in PDF, and that also will work for you. So, so you could just play with just these settings here and see how you can tweak things. And then also if you want to export in multiple formats or in multiple scales, you could add more scales. So if you add, I can change this to, let me say to, yes, PNG, I already have JP, JPG already at the top. And so if you want to go add more scales, let me say I want to export in PDF. So now I have three things here. One is in 2X, one is in um, 4X, and the other is in the, in being the PDF. Now this is, I'm exporting in multiple files. I'm exporting multiple files. I'm exporting in formats. Now they'll be stored in formats and not in scales. So if I export now, it takes, it takes its time to actually export um, individually. So I could come into PDF and there it is here. And I could come into uh, my PNG. There it is there. And I could also come to my JPG, which is also here. So you could export in such format and if you are interested in exporting in scale, you can export in scale. You want to export in format, you can also export in format. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. This is just a short trick. You can try it when you're working on your exporting.